Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did one over on EE Arts. Of course, everything goes up on Patreon. And thank you for your support, Patreons. So I was looking at the comments um, as one of our regular family members been with us for like at least five years was talking about Sulphur, Oklahoma. Yeah, and that sulfur, that fire, and that brimstone and destruction from above, Sodom and Gomorrah, we were talking about like in yesterday's video. And here you have sulfur, Oklahoma. You could just see the damage, again, biblical in nature, and maybe in more ways than one. Because, you know, I shared with you guys, when it hit me when I was, gosh, late teens, maybe uh, somewhere around 19-ish, and studying the Bible, and then all of a sudden it was like, this is alien. <laughs> it just was like, wow, yeah, this is this is all about alien control. And, you know, of course, shoot, that was 40 years ago. It, you know, that was a long time ago that it hit me. And, yeah, my opinion hasn't changed. It is all about extraterrestrial control and... Although, you know, so much of this we see is, is literally, yeah, technology, it's humans. <clears throat> it's humans doing the bidding of their masters. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you open your eyes to it and you see and understand that all, all everything that went on in the Bible has a technology background and it wasn't God punishing people. It was the very controllers that are in their controlling place right now. Uh, putting their punishment on whoever they want because n maybe there's some type of pushback. Maybe these places are doing something that the gods do not appreciate. Yeah, it's the other thing that we talked about. Um, there was an article on Zero Hedge that was pointing out Oklahoma, <clears throat> Nebraska, Iowa, Texas. Texas, by the way, has warnings eastern side of Texas or at least a uh, tornado watch right now. Um, these these states have all basically uh, put laws into effect that will make it tougher for illegals to get and stay in these states. So <clears throat> there is like the books of um, First Kings and Chronicles in series of judgments. It's every time humanity, quote unquote, disobeys. <clears throat> Then they get hit with natural judgments or plagues. Mm -hmm. It's either earthquakes, you know, wildfires, plagues, pestilence. Take your choice. Mm -hmm. it, it does. It goes on and on and on. And once you see it, you can never unsee it. Once you draw that line, and this is why I don't understand some people that are so deep into the Bible. Once you draw that line to, hey, this is aliens, how can you undo that when the Bible tells you that, you know, we're the only things that are here and you're completely alone and you see all the lies all the lies i mean they it runs so deep i can understand cognitive dissonance i i really do you know and it's 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 not a good place to be no and you know this is a dollar store uh distribution center family dollar distribution center uh totally devastated again attacking the food supply because the next thing is bringing famine and you know this is larry who you can see at stop ouching uh larry is is somebody that's taking it personally on him to expose uh everything with the ouches because it's something that was in his life that was very important to him and so we all have our our own little causes, you know, I, I, again, my brother died of a brain tumor that I believe was caused by an ouch. Um, absolutely. You know, we all have our, our, the things that really trigger us the most, but it's one system. It's one system that, that does the nonstop wars. One system that does give us all sorts of remedies that don't cure anything but in fact bring about more and more death and destruction and suffering. This is over in Saudi Arabia, massive tornado. That sure looks apocalyptic, doesn't it? Woo. It's just crazy what we're watching. All this just went up 
through the roof, starting with, it really seems like the eclipse in 2017, everything has just gone through the roof after that point. And we have suddenly Chinese spies seem to be popping up all over Europe. When we had all those police stations popping up all over the U.S. and then Canada and other places. Yeah, it's all part of a big plan. It's all part of the same plan. And, and the migrants and the immigrant situation. To think that these things are not interwoven and interlinked. Um, you know, you need to have your head examined if you think they're all just a bunch of coincidences. Oh, by the way, nuclear detonation workshop next week. Want to go? It's going to be fun. Oh, there's so many going to attend. Everybody who's anybody is going to be there. Hooray. By the way, it's in the Los Angeles area. Um, be very aware if you are uh, on the coastlines again and you know it, it just say this and hope that the timelines are shifting that it won't manifest um, the way it feels like it was meant to manifest um, not that I'm expecting uh, a quote-unquote nuclear detonation as we said um, but the guides have warned that it is part of the controller's plans to make it look like the world has had a limited nuclear exchange between Russia and the United States, possibly the rest of NATO, but def they mention Russia and the United States. And I think it would be more in line with the Beirut blast style of uh, destruction on a bigger scale. So again, imagine maybe uh, dozens or hundreds or even thousands of Beirut blasts if you remember that that happened back in 2020 it was just take your breath away the power of that and don't forget that right before that they well they number 45 got out of treaties that limited how small you could build in UKESs why would they have treaties on how small you can build them because, again, it's blurring the lines. And if they know that um, certain aliens, as has been leaked by people that are in the know in the military, they've said there's there's been so many different people that have come out and in, from within the military saying, you know, these UFOs go by UAPs in today's term. And, hey, they just shut everything off. Nothing works just showing you know you're not going to do what you've done in past ages as uh, again was alluded to when the first nuclear blasts happened on the planet in our modern age uh, that that wasn't the first time it ever happened it's happened in the past and, and there are places that are radioactive still to this day thousands of years later I do think that that famous war that we talk about that's in the Mahabharata, the Kurosheko War, is uh, a war that sw saw uh, at more advanced technologies than I think we're going to see this time. And I'm hopeful that we can, you know, catch the system a little bit unaware of the speed at which humans are awakening. And so maybe we can get these butt heads out of here before they trigger um, that type of event or series of events. And so this, again, this is a coalition of federal, state, local, and military agencies that will come together in the L.A. area to learn strategies and manage a nuclear detonation. National Security Analyst Hal Kempfer will be in attendance. Hmm, I first saw this um, Canadian prepper threw this up, so just be aware. And I do think L.A. and, and uh, well, San Andreas and Cascadia and New Madrid, they're all in the bullseye. And I do think uh, they totally intend uh, to set them off, as well as perhaps that great quake that happens in the Middle East. Um, that is supposed to be something of nine or greater. Um, this, these, these events that the Bible talks about, by the way, um, these, these events are all things they've had planned the entirety of our go-around in this reset 
because this is not the first time. Oh, and this is from Doug and Stacy. Uh, the town of Goderich up in Canada. Wellness checks will be performed by the military on Saturday, May 4th. Do not be alarmed if military personnel knock on your door to simulate a well-being check. May 3rd through 5th, 2024. Hmm. Go to Rich and throughout Huron, Huron and Bruce counties. And this is it. By the way, it's in Canada's prettiest town. That feels really, really um, ominous. Well, this feels, I mean, absolutely horrible because what entails a wellness check? I mean, do they have the right to put their hands on you? Do they have the right to take your temperature? Do they have the right to check all your animals? Do they have the right to check all your items? Do they have the right to check and see are you up to date on certain things? Let me see your papers. So, I mean, they leave this pretty vague and they leave a, a door really wide open telling people not to be alarmed. I absolutely would not tolerate this. I wouldn't stand for this. This is one of those things where, you know, this control system can do things as long as it doesn't interrupt my human experience. Well, this would interrupt my human experience. So I, I wouldn't be able to uh, go along with it. And I think about the timing because I've always felt that, you know, from the middle to latter part of April, especially through the first week or two of June, is a critical timeline. Uh, I think this is when they, they really plan to go ahead and to knock things up to an all new degree. I'm hoping and feeling into every day trying to see what do I sense in um, the timelines? Have we shifted it? Because nothing again is set in stone. That's the biggest thing I want to get across. Like in, in just think about it, inshallah, that term, you know, if it's Allah's will, well, what about your will? What about all of our will? Um, I don't want to be Muslim. I, I could never be Muslim because I don't believe it in, in the slightest. It's never resonated with me. So, you know, I would, I would never even fake becoming a Muslim. And then I couldn't be, uh, I, I just can't limit myself, period, because, you know, hey, there's always new information coming out. We, there are certain things that I do, do completely believe from direct experience. Like I know that our consciousness goes on after we're out of the body. I, I do have recollections of past lives. I've had out-of-body experiences, you know, so I know that. Plus, we've interacted with many beings. We've, I've interacted with my mother when she passed on. My mother, you know, again, um, interacted with my father. When he passed on, he came to her and, and kind of scared her. Uh, she was startled, but she had a vision of him. And so, you know, there's things that we have, that we experience that can make it so you, you can't profess a belief in something that you know is not accurate. And yet, you know, what does the system do? It, it tries to force you into a box that you may never fit in because you've expanded beyond that box. And that's a beautiful thing, expanding beyond the box. You know, you have these images of certain beings that show up in Australia, and, and some of these will look very similar to what we'll find in the southwest of, of the United States. So is this just imagination? Are, are, are these just nightmare visions and if they are nightmare visions you know and we could go on and say are these beings on the astral plane that are visiting humans uh when their brain waves are in a different state of consciousness i asked i asked cindy to feel into these beings well these are something between a biological entity with um technology that's working and it has an overwhelming type of a force to it, like it, it overwhelms things. So I, I don't feel this is a, a, a deity that's allowing free will and allowing people to just be and coming to be helpful. Now, I, I feel kind of an overwhelming force and in, in to uh, change somebody's will to do something. And look at this. The official story of this well is that it's about 3,000 years old. Take a good look and you know feel into it again 
Do you do you think that's the case? It, it's very precise. It's well constructed, um, and, and I just I'm always wondering what are we sitting on top of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I know you know that I always wonder the same thing. And <laughs> you know when we're playing around out in the yard, we usually dig up little things that says, "Okay, we're sitting on top of something else." And I think it's more common than we think that's the trick Um, when you see these great big cities and you see uh, hundreds and thousands of people and these uh, earth with these ley lines that energy might shift around a little bit but time after time cycle after cycle there's a building upon building upon building of these areas because of that energy and so right now, just so you know, there is a, a swarm going on Hawaii, 99 quakes out of 333. Oh, that was very, very interesting timing. Um, majority looked to be very, very shallow for the most part. There was one at 29 kilometers, but all these are pretty much between one and two kilometers. There's one at 12 uh, kilometers deep, 43 kilometers deep. So, you know, some swarming going on in Hawaii. Again, there was a 6.5 directly across from it pretty much the other day. Uh, There's definitely some swarming going on in the Caribbean too, but you will see that these are maybe just a hair larger than typical. What do we got here? 23. So some of those six uh, point quakes energy maybe dispersing. Uh, and you know the thing too is this this is not ended there's six more quakes in the last 24 hours still in New Jersey and uh, you know these are six and a half yeah about six and a half three and a half 4.2 5.7 kilometers deep so that hasn't stopped that's well well over a hundred it's probably a hundred and twenty to hundred and thirty minimum uh, at this point in time uh, it does look like Cascadia has gone totally quiet after having a lot of quakes through the Pacific Northwest. Um, I do, I do really think we are in a very, very um, a time that's ripe for some seriously large quake activity uh, over, say, the next uh, sixty days. So we'll keep an eye out. And here. <laughs> Here you go, this person, uh, women in power, $274 worth of food. This is what they've done for a week through EBT. It lasted only about two and a half days worth of meals. That's not food. There, there's. I don't see anything in there that's nutritious. N- none of this would ever be put in one of our carts. Never, never, never. You know, again, you know, there's some chicken in here, but... Just by the colors, I know it's it's not going to be organic. And, you know, the other thing with chicken, too, is uh, they're loaded with so many other things. So, again, um, we, we try to buy as much food as possible outside of the grocery store. And you know, we know our local farmers. We know the people that are um, providing food to the community, and we ask them. And we stopped at a local stand and got a watermelon and got some tomatoes and some corn. I just had to ask. Uh, these these are not genetically modified corn, are they? And she's like, oh, no, sir. No, no GMOs. No GMOs. Good, good. Because we don't want any GMOs. This, this stuff will put you in the grave. Anybody that's still eating this stuff, you really have a death wish. You know, it, it might build up in the body. You may have built a tolerance for it right now but eventually that body is going to say hey i can't do this and certain things are going to break down and it could look like anything it, it could show up as eczema it could show up as autoimmune it could show up as the dreaded big c word it could show up as uh, emotional emotional issues you know it could show up as brain fog it definitely adds toxins to the body it's just not stuff you would put in your put in your body because you're you're also putting it in your soul keep that in mind you know um you had said that the system works so tirelessly 
to get us to choose to poison ourselves. Right now, this is what's going on. It's it's they're going on and on as uh, thoroughly as they can to get people to voluntarily poison themselves so that they can create these diseases, take them to some scientist, get a label and a name made for this disease or whatever, um, and make a pill for it that's going to create a cure. Now, whether this pill creates a cure or not, that's that's not the goal. That's not the end goal. This is a, a, a parasitic feeding system. And right now we are at like the precipice of people being harmed through food and through other means people thinking that they're just doing something simple you know sustaining their sustaining their life force and it's poisoning them and they don't even know and that's what makes me so sad because there's so many good people out there and they're just wonderful beautiful souls and they're voluntarily uh, poisoning themselves and somebody is telling them look it's okay you can eat this it's safe and it's just not and I'll just call your attention. Look over here. Trending. Cancer. mRNA. And Antarctica. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Antarctica in so many ways is, is really the center. That's where they go and they meet up with some of the off-world power uh, structure where they can go in and take real orders on, you know, basically uh, keeping the human population under control. And these two things obviously go hand in hand. You know, you didn't have cancer uh, like we have now in the past. And, and again, the soil is stripped of its nutrients, the poisoning, toxification the, from the way they choose to have us utilize different energy sources. It's all completely purposeful. It's all completely about dumbing down humans and keeping their lifespans short. Mm-hmm. And I have a feeling this is one strong mama and she's going to protect her babies and she's not taking no for an answer. She'll she'll actually take that bird and make her own feast. Yeah, she says, do you want some of this? you really want some of this? <laughs> As always, guys, much love. Thank you for being part of this family. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.